All right, we've got another snap ring in here and it's being difficult to remove. So I'm gonna try and get close in while I do this. I'm just sort of working it all around. I started over here. of those there. Uh, some black stuff that actually looks like pine straw. And this is a close up of what I just pulled out, and I believe it is the support case, two case. Da, da, da. Center support. The difficult one was the center support snap ring. Um, center support assembly and gear train unit. <coughs> I think. Oh no. Maybe that's what's next. That would make this the intermediate clutch. I'm actually not too sure. Yeah. This was supposed to come out with that, but it didn't. <clears throat> and it's okay. Now let's get the center support. Stopping me, and there's a thrust bearing. And it goes this side out, flat side down. Let's see what else is stopping us. Alright, then I'm taking this out. Well, it looks like I've got another snap ring. And maybe a band. Yep, I got a band. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I've just pried on the reverse band assembly here for about 10 minutes. And I think I can finally just reach in and grab it out. And that is what it looks like. Reverse band assembly. So, first in this portion, <clears throat> I removed what I thought was a snap ring, but they're calling it a thin spacer, 643 from the case. Then I removed the thrust washer. And then I removed this guy. Then I removed the band. And the band was in there <clears throat> like this with this um, funky part down to the bottom and turned a little bit. <clears throat> so that's exactly how that came out. Now hopefully this will just pop right out. And it looks like it will. But if 
not. Hmm. Maybe I've got to take this off first. Don't know. Yeah, it's connected. All right, let me uh, figure that out and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this whole thing is supposed to come out as one piece and it looks like it's not because of that orange looking seal right there, which in the directions it didn't tell you that you had to remove, I don't think, but um, I think I'm going to because it's preventing this from sliding out the front of the case, <clears throat> I believe. Um, also, this piece here is rusty. I don't know if I can um, just de-rust it and clean it up or if I have to replace it. So, we'll see. Um, I'm going to watch some videos and figure out how to remove this guy because it's rubber, but it's uh, being very difficult to get out. Okay, so I figured it out. It was not that seal. Um, I was looking on videos and this guy was not in any of them. Um, because apparently it was supposed to have come off with the uh, rear thing. So I banged on it a little bit and it came off. It's kind of grody in there. Uh, but it did come off so now I should be able to pull this out once I flip it around. Awesome. Yay. So now I can take all that junk out of there and replace it. Hey guys. So in the interest of learning, um, and also so I didn't have to call things doodad anymore, and um, they really don't have part numbers for the whatchamacallit at the end of the doodad, stuff like that. So I had taken everything apart and put it in its place um, in the order that I removed it. Um, so now I've labeled what I can. Um, we've got the manual lever and oil stop and the front servo and spring retainer. We've got the two speed sensors and I believe that's called a manual level lever sensor. Um, a lube pipe. Pressure manifold switch assembly. Reverse servo. The valve body and accumulator housing with a gasket and a separator plate. Got the extension housing um, with the O-ring, and looks like this is called a rear lube seal assembly. That was the rusted thing that didn't come off originally, and um, this snap ring, I believe, is called a snap case bushing. And we've got the oil pump. And now I've got the overdrive carrier and turbine shaft. And it's also called the overdrive unit, I believe. The fourth snap ring, the fourth uh, clutch plates um, and gears, and then the fourth clutch housing. And then the forward clutch housing, and there's a thrust bearing in there, in the top of it. 
and then we have the intermediate band, the intermediate clutch snap ring, the intermediate clutch plates, and the center support snap ring. And I believe this is called the direct clutch housing. I haven't exactly gotten to determine that yet. I didn't take it out exactly like I was supposed to, so and there's in all of these there's lots of little pieces. Um, so we'll be doing the sub disassemblies after this. Uh, then there's a center support race assembly and reaction drum and carrier assembly. Like I said, I think so. Um, then we've got the output shaft on the back, uh, rear internal gear, the main shaft, the output carrier assembly, the output speed sensor ring, um, the rear band assembly, and I think this is called a sun gear. I've seen that in another video called a sun gear, so I'm not positive about that. This is all a great big learning experience, so <clears throat> I'm going to be cleaning everything up and uh, doing sub disassemblies and cleaning some more, and I'll get back to you.